Hello and welcome to the Vaults of Terror. My name is Ed and today we're going to be continuing with our Imperial Guard Regiment videos with a look at the Vostroyan Firstborn. Now, the bleak world of Vostroya exists to the far galactic north of Terra, being located in a region known as the Halo Stars, which are on the outside of the Segmentum Obscurus. It is one of the few worlds that had an intergalactic contact with the Sol system during the Age of Strife, and in that time swore allegiance to the Forge ships from Mars, which basically made them a Forge world, although they didn't take on the industry there, and they retained this allegiance until the Great Crusade. Today it is ruled by a committee known as the Tetriarchs, which are made up of Magi from the Mechanicus and Planetary Government. Now it is not a hive or forge world, instead it sits between the two and is known as an industrial world, and it's divided into many distinctive administrative zones around the equatorial belt, where the majority of the planet's population lives. Now, it was during the Horus Heresy when Vestroya committed its gravest sin. Although not siding with the traitors, Vestroya refused to provide any regiments for the Emperor's armies. Instead, they chose to reserve their population in the Manufactora on Vestroya, which blanketed the world, using them to increase the planet's industrial output during this dark time. After the heresy, when the traitor Horus was cast down and his forces were pushed back to the Eye of Terror, the Vostroyans, out of guilt, agreed to supply every family's firstborn son to serve with the Imperial Guard as a way of atoning for failing the Emperor and the Imperium in its time of need. Based on this vow, known as the Offering of the Firstborn, the eldest son of every family must enlist in the Vostroyan Guard regiments. There are no exceptions, even to the Tetriarchs and the nobility. For the Vostroyans, it is considered actually to be a great honour to be conscripted, and are willing to serve and pay the debt their planet owes to the Emperor and the Imperium. Now, because of the offering, there is always a steady stream of recruits flowing into the Vostroyan regiments, which means it is very rare for a new Vostroyan regiment to be raised en masse, as is done with regiments from other worlds. This means that almost all the Firstborn regiments have existed in an unbroken line since they were created roughly after the Horus Heresy. Of course, this is not always easy to organise and requires a lot of extra work by the Munitorum to transport the new Vostroyan recruits to their distant regiments. But this process ensures the Vostroyan regiments maintain their highest potential numbers and ensure there is always a core of veterans for the new recruits to learn from. Now, a cultural side note for the Vostroyans is that almost universally, the Vostroyan men will sport a moustache. Now, this is because moustaches are viewed as a sign of adulthood and masculine virility in Vostroyan society, although their overall importance does vary depending on the region. For example, the people of Muska place extreme levels of importance on having a moustache, and a man without one is considered to be openly rejecting his manhood, regardless of if the person can grow a moustache or not. Now, going back to the regiment, the Vostroyans are extremely devoted to their cause of atoning for their debt, and tend to look down upon those who they perceive to be less dedicated to combating the Emperor's enemies than themselves. Now, in appearance, the Vostroyan equipment tends to favour a more archaic look than other regiments, using a lot of brass and heavy cloth for their uniforms, and wood as the main component for their las guns, which are long and ornate. Their weapons are in fact passed down from firstborn to firstborn, and are usually considered to be worth more than the guardsmen who carry them, it, which is actually an unfortunately common theme amongst the Imperial Guard. Now, the difference between the officers and the usual guardsmen is that the officers use las guns which are integrated with axes, which shows a little hint of the connection between the Vostroyans and the Mechanicus, as the favoured weapon of the Mechanicus is the axe. Now, overall, the Vostroyans prefer to use plasma guns and heavy bolters to lay down punishing fire upon their enemies. Their pattern of lasgun is unique to Vostroya and is known to be finely crafted with detail, although they do use a lot of wood, which is surprising considering the plant does not have any native trees. And in fact, many of their weaponry can be centuries, if not millennia old, even down to the most common lasgun, which in some guard regiments is also replaced regularly. So that's everything I wanted to mention on the Vostroyans to I hope that's been a good overview of the Guardsmen so far. Now we've come to the end of most of the major Guard regiments which are known in the lore, however I know there are a few more that need to be covered, such as the Tanith and some others. So if you could please vote below for any of the other regiments you want to see, then I'll be able to see what everyone wants, and I'll make the videos accordingly. Also, if you want to talk to me, you can either send me a personal message, leave a comment below, or go to the Vox Relay, which is the Vaults of Terror forums, which is linked in the description below, and should take you to a place where there's a lot of knowledgeable people willing to help you out with Warhammer 40,000 lore. So that's everything I wanted to mention today. See you next time on the Vaults of Terror.